Hi, I'm Melissa Wood of Professional Boat Builder Magazine. I'm Earl Baldwin with Tampa Yacht Manufacturing. And Tim Chalfant, also with Tampa Yacht Manufacturing. And today we're, we're at IBEX 2014 in Tampa, and Earl's going to tell us about the boat they brought to the show. Well, this is Tampa Yacht's 44-foot fast coastal interceptor. The boat's 44-foot hull length, 49-foot, 3 inches linked overall. It's powered by a set of Man R6 800 horsepower diesels, twin disc gears, and Arneson ASD 11 drives. Full mission load of this boat is 27,000 pounds and is capable of achieving speeds of over 50 plus knots. The boat will stop a 7.62 NATO ball point blank and recently was fitted with almond seats. They're shock mitigating seats for lateral and up and down impact. If you step this way, you can take a look at it. I've uh, suffered several back injuries from running boats at high rates of speed. I'm not supposed to operate anymore, but with these seats, I've been able to operate no problem with no back pains for the last five days. I've launched the boat several times out the water. And the idea is we modified the helm station, removing the face of the thing, pushing it back four inches. So when the driver's in an operational position, he's not stretching for any of the controls. My wheel, my hand is 10 to 11 o'clock position. My throttle, even in full throttle position, I'm not in a stretched or reach position vulnerable for an injury. Basically, you can get out, you can run your boat all day in different conditions, and your crew is going to come back fresh. They're not going to come back fatigued and beaten up from all the conditions that you're running out there. You never know, one minute you're running on a, a perfect mirror, next minute you're in six foot seas. And this will actually have your crew coming back not fatigued, and it makes their life and their jobs a whole lot easier. Tell us where the idea for the design came from. We had a customer in the Middle East. They were looking for a craft that could be placed on a mothership out in the Gulf, and they could identify a target by simply sending these boats out at a high rate of speed, identify the target, and if need be, they could stay in support until additional help could come with the boat. And you've had customers all over the world, it sounds like. We've had customers all over the world. We've, we've got several inquiries from different places in the world, Far East, Middle East, uh, further south of Florida, uh, U.S. government. Hopefully in the future we can get some contracts with them. And how fast does the boat go? The boat's capable of reaching speeds in excess of 50 plus knots. I've seen the boat well over 55 knots in full combat. And, it, and I've been out on it. I know it's, it's a smooth ride. It handles well, can you, can you talk a little bit about, about that? Um, the boat tends to like very big water. It likes to put a lot of air underneath it. I've technically ran this boat in the Atlantic Ocean at over 53 knots and six, six and a half foot seas with no problem. Uh, the impact, the boat is a very solid, stout built boat. The boat just pulls no surprises on you. If you put it into a turn, you can take a turn at well over 50 plus knots and the boat doesn't go anywhere. And I also heard that the, the the design was based on an earlier Coast Guard? Design? Originally in the early 80s, uh, the U.S. Coast Guard used temp this yacht. Okay. We bought the remaining assets of the company, we got the name and their hull moles, and we resurrected basically the, the boat. And uh, this is the future boat for the Coast Guard that it used to use. And how, how is the show going for you? It, it's kind of neat that you were able to bring the boat to IBEX this year. We had a nice chance of bringing the boat over, showing off the almond seats and actually demonstrating to the boat to several people out here to help get our name out so they can see who we are, see our product line and what we put out, and also demonstrate the shock mitigation seats for drivers in the future running at high rates of speed. And you just and I heard that you just came back from a race with the sheriff's office? I was out there with the sheriff's office. They had an intrepid with three three hundred horsepower Yamahas on the back. And they challenged me yesterday, so we took a little spin out in the bay, and I kind of walked away from them. And I was doing circles around them at well over 50 knots, and we all had a good time and come back safely. That's great.